has alien life been found on a distant planet? Well, that's what many different outlets are reporting on right now. So let's talk about it. Get in here. This is Jack with Cosmic Road. I talk about UFOs and the paranormal. Please hit like and subscribe and let me know what you think in the comments below. Yeah, this is being reported on by CNN. Scientists find strongest evidence yet of life on a distant planet. Uh, the Times is reporting on this. Exoplanet K218b, alien ocean world, may be teeming with life. Uh, here's uh, NASA talking about it. We've got independent.co.uk talking about it. Uh, we've got uh, the BBC also reporting on this. Everybody's talking about it. But instead of me just reading an article to you, why don't we watch a news piece or part of a news piece from Australia? with researchers discovering that they, what they say is the strongest indication yet of extraterrestrial life. They're focusing on a massive planet, 120 light years from Earth, known as K218b, which they believe is covered with a warm ocean, brimming with life. But joining us live to explain further is Dr. Rebecca Allen, co-director of the Space Technology and Industry Institute at Swinburne University of Technology. Thanks for joining us. Can you tell us again, what have researchers found that's leading them to make this conclusion? So using an instrument on the James Webb Space Telescope, astronomers have been able to decode the ingredients of an atmosphere of a planet orbiting another star. Now looking at these ingredients, they see a key molecule, which we know on Earth is only created from life. What do you say about this discovery? It's, it is almost unbelievable. Well, it's very interesting because we know on Earth, phytoplankton in our oceans is extremely important because it's what takes a lot of that carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere and turns it into oxygen, which we breathe. And we know in Earth's early history that this was critical for life as we know it to evolve. So. So yeah, uh, they found this on another planet and the, the likelihood of this uh, actually meaning uh, that they have indeed found life is something like 99.7 or something like that. Let me get the actual uh, statistic for you. Is it uh, uh, right around here? Yeah, 99.9% .9 certainty that the Hycian planet, the oceanic planet, uh, it has at least one gas in its atmosphere that on Earth is produced by living things. Now, maybe on a distant planet, maybe the conditions are different and maybe they produce this thing naturally. But the scientists are believing that this is an indicator of life, that this thing uh, probably does have life in its oceans. Uh, and here's another um, video about this. K218b is two and a half times the size of Earth and it's 700 trillion miles away. The James Webb Space Telescope is so powerful it can analyse the chemical composition of the atmosphere from the light that passes through it from the small red star it orbits. Its chemical signature seems to suggest that it contains molecules which on Earth can only be produced by living organisms and it's such a strong signal that if it is home to life it's plentiful. K218b is thought to be a water world covered entirely by a vast ocean and the evidence is growing that it may be teeming with life. Ah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, Mitch Horowitz says in the last six months Google engineers say that quantum computing supports the theory of the multiverse. Microsoft engineers say they've created a new state of matter outside vapor, solid, or liquid in their quantum computing chip. New imagery from the Webb telescope suggests that our galaxy may dwell inside a black hole. And now this, scientists finding a life. Things are really heating up. Uh, well, but uh, how exciting is this? Well, it's, you know, a little exciting. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm excited the mainstream news is talking about alien life. Let, let me know what you guys think. Are you pumped about this? Are you jazzed about this? I think it's pretty cool, right? I mean, scientists, mainstream science is getting on board or, or has gotten on board with uh, uh, this discovery. And uh, it seems like a pretty legit uh, discovery. Obviously, we need more corroboration and, and information on it. Uh, but we've got bodies, y'all. <laughs> We've got alien or NHI hybrid bodies right here on Earth from Peru. And uh, BBC isn't talking about this. There's, there's no uh, worldwide coverage on this. Uh, we've got the Nazca mummies, guys. We've got solid evidence. We've got DNA. Uh, we've got bodies, y'all. Uh, so, yeah, where's the international attention on the Nazca mummies? Uh, it's not there. Uh, where is the international attention on any of this? Uh, so, I mean, we've got NHI right here in our own backyard, in some cases, literally, like in Las Vegas. Uh, no international coverage. But, you know, that's what it takes, right? It takes mainstream science, uh, you know, reconciling this idea with the general public. Yeah, there's uh, alien life, and mainstream science now supports it. Now, it's safely on a distant planet, and it's likely not highly evolved. It's likely not running around in spaceships. But, you know, mainstream science can now say, yeah, there's alien life. So are these little breadcrumbs that are leading us uh, building to something bigger and better and more exciting in the near future? Is this all part of some sort of pre-planned a disclosure process. Uh, let me know what you guys think. And uh, thank you to Nico uh, and Dennis and others who have sent me these videos and articles. I really appreciate it. Uh, I think this is an awesome story, uh, mainly because it's suggesting that the media and the public are getting more interested in alien life and realizing the likelihood of alien life. And in this case, what looks like a near certainty of alien life on this distant world. So that's definitely something to be jazzed about. Uh, let me know if you're jazzed. Let me know if you're less jazzed about them not reporting on the Nazca mummies uh, and, and other items of interest. Uh, but let me know what you think about it all in the comments below. Like and subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified of future videos. You don't want to miss a thing. Join me on social media. There's Facebook and Twitter and Discord links below. Love to see you guys there. Uh, yeah, there's other ways to support the channel. You can buy a t-shirt or a coffee mug in the merch store below. That'd be super helpful. You could become a channel member. Channel members are rock stars, and I really appreciate your support. Thank you. Meanwhile, there are plenty of other videos on the channel, and I'll see you next time. This is Jack with Cosmic Road signing out.